One DJI Mavic Mini. One lens cover. One controller unit. One USB plug. One battery charger. Minus one battery. And no actual drone body. Making all of this useless. No good. Yes, I crashed my drone into the sea like an absolute idiot. It's a sad day, but what can you do about it? And that little drone has traveled to Fiji on Australia with me and I managed to lose it 20 minutes down the road. Brilliant. So the council were filming a documentary and they needed some drone clips. I went and helped them and crashed my drone into the sea. Thankfully, no one else was there when I crashed it because that would have been even more embarrassing than it already is. So yeah, let's take a look at the footage. Started so peacefully. Definitely didn't end that way. So they wanted to do it at low tide because of the shipwreck. So you're about to see the last clip the drone ever captured. I knew I was in trouble way before I hit the mud. It was a combination with how far away the drone was, the wind speed, the battery life, the connection issue. I started heading back and straight away I looked at the speed it was traveling and it was like 0 point something meters per second. And I just knew I didn't have enough battery to get back against doing that sort of speed against the wind. Also you see as I'm on the way down, I was having some connection issues and you can see I'm trying to orientate the drone to try and fly back to me but it just wasn't happening and there was no way I was, I was going to make it back. So I hit record. So at least I had the crash on video. <laughs> yeah, bad times. Let's take a look. So as you can see, way out over the mud. Was never going to make it back. I was in the middle as well, so I couldn't even fly to the other side of the river or fly back. It's a lost battle at this point going down. Trying to orientate the drone, but it was lagging the connection so I couldn't really line it up or know which way I was heading. I basically lost track of where the drone was at this point. Then going down, if I crashed into these seagulls, Jesus Christ, that'd be funny. Going down, going down. Brilliant. Now on this flight, I nearly crashed before this as well because you can see here how close this bird is to me. Look how close that feather is. That must have literally missed by a tiny amount. Yes, the Mavic Mini does have a return to home function when it hits 20% battery, but me being the pilot and in control, I canceled the return to home warning. Uh, because I was literally trying to get this last clip and then, yeah, didn't have enough battery to get back. So, learn from that one, make a note of that. Now, it, it was low tide, so I did actually try and retrieve the drone. So, I stuck a pair of wedding boots on and walked out along the, sort of the stream that was going down through the mud. Knew roughly where the drone was, but it was still miles out away from the stream. The mud was pretty deep. So it literally wasn't worth trying to recover because 
For one, it would have been so cold. I'd have probably got stuck in the mud. And I don't think the drone would have worked anyway, so. So yeah, thanks for watching my very costly video. That is the most expensive video I've ever had to make. Yeah, do subscribe if you're new. Press the like button. And yeah, comment down below which drone I should replace it with. Thanks.